Hey, as Travis mentioned, he's gonna show you how to switch in between near and far mode in mid scan. And normally what kinds of object needs that? It normally should be a large object. So today I'm using Travis as this object. And this large object always has a detail rich surface. For example, Travis's body, his arms and legs, not so much, but face, hair, this is where the rich detail lies. So in this case, we need to scan Travis's head first with near mode to capture more detail and then switch to far mode in mid scan to continue capturing his body. And this 35% overlap lies here. I think it between his neck and shoulder area. Let me show you. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how I can scan Travis first with near mode with the head and then far mode for the body. And I switch in between these two modes. Okay, so first let's start with the hair. Switch to near mode. Okay, just the distance. Okay, looking good. And now move a little bit to scan his face. And know that when you're under auto exposure, you should move a little bit slowly and steady because the scanner will need like half a second to to adjust the exposure for you. But if you are under manual exposure level, I think you can move a little bit faster, especially when you are under 15 or 16 FPS, it's gonna be a fast scan. Okay, uh, I think I'm done with the face part, but let's scan a little bit more than I needed, like his neck and his shoulder area, so that I'll have more areas, overlap areas to keep tracking after I switch to far mode. And it's just like uh, to continue a scan and in single shot mode, like 35%. If you can't calculate, it doesn't matter. Just remember to leave a lot of space for yourself, okay? So now looking good, I have captured his face, hair, very detailed, no problem. Okay, now let's switch to far mode and let's continue the scanning from this area, like uh, below his nose and beyond his shoulder, okay? All right, let's uh, adjust the distance and let's continue scanning. The scanner might lose track for a little while, but do not worry, let's just keep on the tracking and keep moving the scanner. Look, eventually the scanner will find its way back, okay? So don't panic, just wait for that moment. And in general, yes, the more detail rich area it is, the, the easier you can find your, your the tracking back with the scanner. Which means you can what you can try is you can continue the scan on the very detailed area. Okay, and one more turn for the legs. I think we're done. And as you can see, I am moving a little bit backward and forward back again because I'm scanning his knees and his knees are pretty popped out. So that's a good skill when you're scanning something, not a very uh, not even space, let's say. Okay, done. I'm not gonna do a perfect scan because I think I have almost captured every detail of Travis. Let's take a look. Okay, looking good, right? The body, no problem. Limbs, body, torso, shoulder and back. And especially because I am switching in between two modes. So now I can also have his hair is faced in detail. So that's how you can complete a scan, switch between near and far mode in mid scan with Morocco.